No calm, quiet for the first half, but second half of your day, we are expecting to see thunderstorms returning across South Florida and the Treasure Coast. 86, it is warm already. Temperatures above average. Feels like temperatures in the 90s, so definitely more like a summer day today than late spring, but we are feeling that heat. But we again will expect to see some showers that'll help cool us off later in the day. High UV index. Yesterday I went for a bike ride, definitely got a sunburn, so something to remember all weekend long if you're going to be out and about. Otherwise, southeast wind 5 to 10 a lot of people out on our waters enjoying the beach conditions rip current risk at a moderate level seas two to three feet second low tide right around 10 o'clock tonight now as for the radar it is quiet on land any shower storm activity that we do have is well offshore about 30 miles to our east and later today the showers and storms we'll see develop will happen mostly inland where some of those could work their way off to the coast so let me show you that we have an onshore wind and then we are going to see a couple showers and storms developing three o'clock daytime heating could even squeeze out a stronger thunderstorm and then this activity becomes a little bit more widespread from St. Lucie County into Martin County and also northern Palm Beach County. So Jupiter all the way up to Fort Pierce. That's where we could see some thunderstorm activity right around 4 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock. Then we'll see that around most of Palm Beach County up and down the Turnpike in 95. So if you are commuting southbound, you will be driving through some pretty nasty weather later in the day today. Some of those showers and storms lasting even past sundown. And then after 8 o'clock, we clear things out very nicely. Let me show you Saturday morning starting off nice and dry. Second half of the day, it's going to be beautiful. A lot of sunshine, very summer-like with the sea breeze kicking in. If we do have any activity, it will develop mostly near Lake Okeechobee, staying concentrated near the lake. So Saturday, actually a much drier day compared to what we're expecting for your Sunday. Sunday, different story, an approaching cold front. That's going to help trigger some scattered rain and some thunderstorm activity by the early afternoon and into the early half of your evening. And Sunday, actually, we do have the potential to see some isolated, strong to even severe thunderstorms, especially along the Treasure Coast. So that includes northern portions of Martin County all the way into Indian River and Okeechobee, so just be on the lookout for that. Some storms can produce very heavy rainfall, and since the grounds are saturated from yesterday's rain, we could see some localized flooding and the occasional strong gusts. So as we head into your weekend, again, this cold front will be influencing our weather behind it, drier air, and that'll settle in at least heading into the beginning of next week, so it'll actually feel a little bit more refreshing than the heat we have for today. Over the next several hours, impact weather kicking in after 3 o'clock, lasting up until after sundown, and then the rest of your night looking good for those Friday Friday plans, green market for tomorrow, very beautiful day on your Saturday. So for the next few days, we do have an impact day on your Sunday. That's because we have the risk of those stronger to isolated severe storms. And then after that, we're going to cool things off for the afternoon highs, low 80s through the rest of the work week.